created a promotional package. I created a magazine ad, a newspaper ad, a 30-second ra radio commercial, and a 30-second TV commercial. After some research, I found that I found three magazines that will be perfect for my target audience. These magazines are Buen Rato Magazine, El Life Magazine, and Hispanic Magazine. The newspaper ad was published in the Navigator, <coughs> the Oncologist's newspaper, but that is not my audience. So the appropriate newspapers will be Atlanta Latino, Mundo Hispanico, and El Universal. Actually, in fact, two, a few days ago, a guy, a journalist from uh, Mundo Hispanico contacted me and we've been talking. He did an interview about Spanglish and he will be publishing an article in the next issue of Mundo Hispanico about Spanglish. So we're expecting many more Spanglish students to come. It's one of the biggest newspapers, Spanish newspapers in Atlanta, so we're excited about that. I will now play for you the 30 second radio commercial. Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están por los Estados Unidos? Si vieras qué precioso es, mucha tecnología, cosas padrísimas. ¿Y la escuela? Pues no entiendo nada, y ellos tampoco me entienden. No sé, creo que mejor me salgo, mejor me pongo a trabajar. Thinking about dropping out of school because you feel like you just don't fit in? No tomes la decisión incorrecta, piénsalo dos veces. Think about it twice. Visit myspace.com slash five spanglish. Visita myspace.com diagonal 5 Spanglish. For those of you who don't speak Spanish, it's a guy and a girl talking on the phone, and the guy says, so how, how are the United States? How, how's school? And she says the United States are great, but school, she's not so sure about it. She doesn't feel comfortable. They don't understand her, and she doesn't understand anything. So she's thinking about dropping out of school to go to work. Now I will play for you the 30-second TV commercial. What does that word mean? I only knew what those teachers were talking about half of the time, maybe I could understand better. Si tan solo supiera que mis esos maestros en la clase no tuviera que estar haciendo esto. ¿Dónde está? ¿A la orera? ¿Dónde está? What does that mean? Oh, I give up. That lindo. five video productions. Each one is around 30 minutes long. The purpose of these videos is to help during the relocation process. The different topics are culture, which divides into sports, holidays, and celebrities, government, which focuses on getting to know the president of the United States, the vice president, and the cabinet. The third video focuses on explaining how to register for school in the United States. The fourth gives advice on how to apply for college and how to go to college. And the fifth one is targeted towards the parents so that they can better understand what their kids are going through and also get to know what to do about it. I will now play for you a teaser of the culture video. If all of a sudden things change in your life, los tamalitos, el puesto en la calle, la tiendita, las pirámides, el tequila, la casita de la abuela, las chalupas, el ángel, el zócalo, los paros, hasta nuestro querido gobierno. Then you woke up and saw that things were different. La estatua de la libertad, Times Square, Las Vegas, la hamburguesa, el vinito, el fútbol. Ooh, so much to handle. Don't worry, we'll help you make it through. Spanglish, giving you a hand, para darte una mano. Hola, mi nombre es Daniela. I'm Daniela, the host of the Spanglish show. You're going to have to tell us what are the sports that we can expect here in the United States. America's favorite pastime is the game of baseball. Baseball is probably, it used to be the most popular sport now playing in the football. And that's American football, you know, with... Oh, not soccer football? Not soccer football, but American <laughs> football. As we all know, when you move to a new country, they also have their cultures and their own memorial days. And today I'm here with Mace, Violeta, and with Mix. Thank you for being with us, guys. I prove to you that you can succeed. You can be famous in the United States. It doesn't matter where you're from. Comenzamos con Ricky Martin, el novio de muchas. Ricky Martin joined other 60 Hispanic figures in the Wall of Fame in 2008. We have to get back on the air, but we'll be back. Bye-bye. Adios. Spanglish, echándote la mano, giving you a hand. The videos are to be distributed uh, among teachers of English as a Second Language class 
from middle schools and high schools so that when a new student comes, they can watch the videos and help with the relocation process. Also, I have sent a copy to the Mexican Consulate in Atlanta and the Latin American Association. The last deliverable is a high school classroom presentation. I went to Rabin County High School. Uh, I talked to the English as a second language class, better known as ESL. The reason I chose this high school is because through the MySpace page, I received emails from two girls who were worried about their classmates. They were thinking about dropping out of school to go to work full time because they weren't really enjoying school. They couldn't see a point. So that was a wake up call for me. During the 25 minute presentation, I focused on talking to the students about staying in school and preparing to go to college. I did a PowerPoint presentation and designed a three way folded brochure for them to take home. In the brochure, I included pictures of Spanish-speaking students that have graduated from high school and are currently in college, statistics on Hispanic dropouts, the main goals of Spanglish, cool facts about going to college, and contact information to join the MySpace page and get a copy of the five video productions. Among those cool facts about going to college, I included things such as you can go to class in your PJs, you can design your own schedule, and you can be reckless before going out to the real world. I will now play for you a small clip on what happened during the classroom presentation. I do warn you, it's in Spanish. No todos somos iguales. <risa> Yo quiero que la gente que vaya llegando se adapte y se quede en la escuela, porque muchos de mis compañeros ni siquiera se graduaron porque terminaron saliendo. Mi compañero, por cierto, Rubén, que es el que está haciendo la cámara, él es, él es de Puerto Rico. <risa> él, él es, por cierto, thank you, Rubén. <risa> Ay, qué chido, fíjate que sí. Eh, hey, mira, ya le gustó la universidad. <risa> Pero tiene que ir a clases y no lo sacan. Y ahí también viene un email al que si quieren estar ayudando con alguna tarea o si sus papás a lo mejor no entienden el rollo de no te vayas a cansar, no más siéntate, no te vaya a dormir el pie. Gracias. What's going to happen to Spanglish in the future after I graduate? Well, I'm really interested in helping Spanish-speaking students graduate from high school and get a higher education. I will continue to update the MySpace page with new and updated information that these students can use. I will also provide copies of the DVDs to more teachers and associations that I found throughout my career after graduation. And I will be available for more classroom presentations when needed. Actually, next week I already have two presentations booked up for, uh, for Gainesville High School, so we are looking forward to that. As well, I have had a couple of interviews with radio stations in Raleigh, Nor in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're trying to book what with the Clear Channel's Atlanta radio station, so that more people can find out about Spanglish. After doing this project, I have realized that my experience, even though I went through a not so comfortable experience, while trying to adapt to the United States, I was able to get something good out of it. So I hope that Spanglish helps people out. And in case any of you are interested on any of the videos that I have, you are more than welcome to have a copy. I can make it available to you. Or if you know of a school that I can go talk to, I will be more than welcome to do that. So thank you for your attention. And that, that will conclude my presentation. I will now take questions from the faculty.